Hey, what's up, you two? Welcome back to the channel. It's my birthday. We're going on an adventure. All right, boys. Here we go. Uh, not a stab and grab. Circle K's are generally, generally, relatively clean. 7-Elevens, on the other hand, eh, not so much. At least not down here. I've heard that in other parts of the country, 7-Elevens like the uh, Top Dog gas station. $21 to fill up, man. Uh, uh, that feels bad. That feels really bad on a motorcycle. Uh, a couple hiccups in our plan already. Already. Hey, but what's a motorcycle trip? If not breakups, right? I get a message uh, from my friend Shelly. Uh, she rides with Alex a lot. She's been asking me all week, hey, what, what's the plan? What time are we going? We don't know if we're going yet, blah, blah, blah. Finally this morning, she goes, oh, we're coming, by the way. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, the last minute, she goes, after this thunderstorm. I said, what thunderstorm? She's like, ah, oh, must be joking, right? Uh, back here on this side of town, Mike's weather report brought to you apart by WMBR. Anyway, look at this though. Like you look on the radar and it's nothing, but that's pretty fucking big. Like there's nothing there on the radar, not one thing. Like how do you miss that? We have one job as a weather radar, one single job, and it's to see this shit. Uh man, then Kyle uh, FaceTimed me with Jack. It was like sideways pouring down rain where they were. They were at a gas station too, so. My buddy Kenny from, uh, you guys know Kenny Quest uh, from Orlando. He said, hey, I missed my window to get to the Shane by nine because my soft tail won't start. Hey, he's got this new to him soft tail that he's been working on, making sure it's running and it's been doing fine. He's been doing road trips on it. But I guess this morning it just said, you know what? Nah, we're not gonna. So he's going to take his Sportster, the Snakester, as he calls it. And just meet us up in Jacksonville. If I understand correctly, he's on the north side of Orlando anyway, so, eh, probably not that bad of a ride. So I got these, uh, you guys may have, I don't know if I recorded it or not, but I got these armrests put on, man. I'm pretty stoked about it. You can kind of see him in the mirror there. Pretty stoked. Uh, as soon as the old lady rode, me, rode with me for a month or so and indicated, yeah, I like this, let's keep doing it. Uh, I bought those armrests last week. I bought them brand new. I mean, you can get used ones for about fifty dollars cheaper. But I'm like, you know what? I don't want some other body, somebody else's grimy ass sweat on my old lady. I don't mind if I get somebody else's grimy ass sweat on my arm. But for her, I'm like, ah, let's splurge the extra fifty dollars and uh, get her some brand new ones. They're actually far enough forward where if I'm feeling a little. If I need to stretch a little bit with the arms, especially if I have cruise control on, I can just, look at this. Oh, shit, yeah, boy. Like, come on over here to daddy, baby. <laughs> come see Uncle Bogator. Look at the timing. Look at these guys. They're not even wet. Here I am. I'm wet, baby. These guys are troopers, man. I roll in and uh, Nick on an Indian's here. I didn't even know he was coming, so I'm glad to see him. Cowboy Mike, me. Nick on an Indian, we all live kind of west, if not north of here, and it's beautiful there. Whereas these guys over on the east side, and it was fucking nasty. I showed you guys that on the GoPro, but these guys are troopers, man. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Shelly's the one who informed me about this mysterious thunderstorm that I didn't think existed. All right, boys. Here we go. When we first started talking about this trip, I thought for sure, by the way, Kyle was talking, well, Kyle was talking about how it was going to be like so many people were looking forward to it. And I told him in a message, I'm like, man, the novelty of this is going to wear off pretty quick. And it did. <laughs> so to have six, seven bikes uh, today up on this trip, I'm pretty excited about that. I know it's a chance to get out on a motorcycle ride, so it really doesn't matter what the event is, but to know that it's for my birthday, uh, a day that I really don't celebrate anyway i haven't really celebrated a birthday since my 21st that was 25 years ago today holy shit there's been more birthdays since then than there were leading up to my 21st birthday so <laughs> look at this it's saturday morning man tampa this is why when everybody says there's a lot of people who would be welcome but uh 
for the most part, if you're thinking about moving to Tampa, just keep in mind that this is Saturday at 9.30 in the morning. You want to know what's wild? I got to ask this guy. I got to ask somebody if they remember this dude's name. This guy, I've partied with him for like two weekends in a row now, uh, but I can't remember his name. I feel awful about that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. For those of you who don't know, uh, it is my birthday weekend. I've mentioned it before. I don't really celebrate it. And uh, you guys know I'm a big Leonard Skinner fan. Well, I'm big no matter what I do, but I'm also a big Leonard Skinner fan. And uh, Cowboy Mike, who's in this group, said about a month ago, hey, let's ride to Georgia and get 40s. And I'm, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not dying to have a 40, but I thought, what a stupid, stupid idea. So here we are, riding to Georgia to get 40s. Anyway, so how does that tie into Leonard Skinner? Uh, sometime last week or two weeks ago, I was just farting around on the internet, man, and I found out that the Van Zant house, the house that uh, Ronnie, all his brothers, grew up in, and his parents actually lived in until they died in the early 2000s, that it's, not only is it a historical landmark, obviously, but it is also available to rent on Airbnb. I thought, get the fuck out. I'm like, uh, this has to be pretty expensive, being that, you know, the significance of the home. And it wasn't really. It was like, you know, taxes and everything. It's like 500 bucks for two nights. It was a two-night minimum, even though some of these guys are going to turn and burn today. Uh, others are going to get up tomorrow and come back. But I'm staying both nights. My wife is not coming up with me today. Uh, instead, her and at least my grandson are going to come up tomorrow so we can do family shit tomorrow. I'm excited about it. So... Uh, enough jabbering for me. Let's get up the road. I got to try to keep this pack together. You guys know how I feel about leading the pack. I'm not really a big fan, but since I'm using GPS and some others are riding a little dirty, want to keep it a low profile, here I am. So we'll see you down the road. I met you on a sunny day. Right there you took my breath away. A young and pretty, you wasn't just a dream. The next day you called me up You told me I'm your little buttercup You came over and you fell into my arms Well I know what I feel Please tell me I love is real You make me smile Leave it to the chopper uh, We stopped about 60 miles in In Bushnell, Florida We've got another 45 miles to go till we get to Ocala where we break off on 301 To head up towards Jacksonville Why not? By the time I dropped back, you were already there. I'm like, it's good. Oh it's a good day. It could be a long day. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Here we go, baby. Proceed to the route. I am proceeding to the route. Don't you worry about me. Go past this light, then use the left lane to merge onto I-75 North. I just wish Siri knew that I had a shred of common sense. It's just a shred. All right, they asked me to stay middle lane and approximately 70 miles an hour. So I, I keep my speedometer, or yeah, my cruise control set at 75, and everybody told me, no, that's 80. So I knew my speedometer was a little off. Uh, I just didn't know it was that far off at 75, 80 miles an hour. So uh, that's fine. Mike jumped over in the middle lane earlier, and I, I'm a big fan of left lane in a group because it's impossible for me to be sideswiped in the left on the left side in the left lane right and according to him uh, mike is a retired police officer he said that if we're impeding traffic even if we're doing 75 80 miles an hour we'll get pulled over for impeding traffic so and anyway i am rambling this is probably the most worthless piece of content you could possibly imagine uh, I'm looking forward to getting up here, so we'll see you down the road, baby. Stop number two, Ocala. We've gone 100 total miles. We've been gone about three hours. We're making awful time. I love it. The best thing about these stops, even though they're only uh, 40 and 50 miles -ish each, is that they know we're coming. Picnic table, employees only. So I'm employed. We are employed. We're all employees, I think. Yeah, we're... Um, we're all employed, so we, we belong here. So now we have a new plan. Apparently when we get into Georgia, we're looking for fleshlights. Fleshlights and 40s. I brought duct tape so we could do, was it Edward 40 hands? You bring duct tape, didn't you? Yeah, cool, cool story, bud. <laughs> but you didn't bring duct tape, it's 
That's the only sur the only survival we'll that we need is that roll a duck. I I'm sure we can find an ace hardware or something. Yeah, baby. We shot for those parking lot beers back in Ocala. Now we're on 301 between uh, Ocala and a town called Stark, which is kind of southwest of Jacksonville. These now we're back. Now we're back into places that I love to see. Uh, it's not too lame like a lot of the highways are back here, but it's small four lane. You see, it's very rural. <laughs> oh man, I love these roads so much. I can't even express to you how much I love these old roads. I have a lot of you reach out and tell me happy birthday, and I appreciate it. Sometimes I feel like a little, I don't know how to feel like, ah, uh, don't give me so much attention, but um, I, I do appreciate you guys reaching out. I've also had several of you reach out and uh, give me money on PayPal. I really appreciate that i put a story out this morning talking about if you were coming up and uh, wanted to pitch in you know do it but other people other people are pitching in so uh it kind of makes me feel like oh shit did i give the wrong message <laughs> i've said it before man but this part of florida you get 30 miles off the coast in any direction man uh that's this is real florida this is what florida like really i mean sure there's how many hundreds of miles of coastline, but I don't know. This is, uh, there went a guy on a fucking airboat. The country folks, back when I used to live here before, like 20 something years ago, I used to joke that Florida's not Southern because of all the Northern people who live here. But back then I never really got off the coast. I just kind of stayed where I was and didn't move much. And, uh, you know, since I've been here the last seven, eight years, I can see uh, eight years now, holy shit. I can see, holy shit, this is southern, it's country, but there's a twist to it, because you got the coast never far away. Somebody posted something not long ago that said, you know, there's no beach more, or there's nowhere in Florida more than an hour away from the ocean. I like riding these back roads, man. I, we're going to get into a couple more some, uh, sometime between here and there. Uh, we are going to go to the Van Zandt house first. My buddy Kenny's very close to there. I sent the Airbnb guy a message and said, Hey, man, we're going to be there a couple hours early. Do you mind if we just go ahead and check in? He said check-in time was four. He reiterated that a couple times. Uh, if it's available to be checked in early, then that's what I'm going to do. If not, then we're going to go there and meet Kenny, then head up to Georgia. It's another hour uh, from there to Georgia. So uh, I'm going to get some B-roll of these back roads, man, because I, I love this shit so much. And I think you need to. I think that's why you come around. pretty cool man um, I know not everybody on this trip with me as as excited about where we're staying as I am it's kind of dumb but I don't know I kind of dig it man got the historical landmark back there the house they claim is in uh, pretty much the same con condition I believe it they, they kind of left it original um, nice we got eight bikes up here right now I think Jack's the only one turning and burning we're about to head up to Georgia get them 40s there you have guitars. I know Kyle's really looking forward to that. Yes. All right, let's take a look at the house. Oregon. There's a little bit of uh, Skinner in every every room, right? Pretty cool. Skinner clock. Some old articles. Looks like mom and dad there. Here he is barefoot. I heard he liked to sing on stage barefoot. No free feet. <laughs> Don't light a fire. You already got one going. claimed part of this bedroom here and uh bathroom holy shit 
Yeah, we got a queen bed in here. And we got bunk beds and another full full size bed here. So not a whole lot of room, but we're getting it going. On our way to Georgia. Oh baby. Okay, on our way to Georgia. Checked into the Van Zant house. We're 45 miles from I just plugged in St. Mary's, Georgia. I don't have a specific destination in mind, just St. Mary's. I don't even know if every place is going to sell 40s. We're going to pull in somewhere until we find somewhere that does. That's a solid plan. We're definitely going to have to get gas. Um, I, I don't need it right away. I won't need it until we get to St. Mary's. But uh, Phil, with his chopper, is definitely going to need it because he's got that little fucking peanut tank. And it doesn't get very far. I think uh, the farthest we've gone in one stretch was 60 miles, and he said that was like his upper limit. Oh, I love being up here, man. I can't, I can't express enough. I like Jacksonville a whole lot. I've, you know, I've said that several times, and this is like my third or fourth trip up here. This is definitely my third trip up this way on a motorcycle. But hey, Siri, can you give me less voice prompts during navigation? Which Lebois popster? Oh, never mind. Go away, Siri. Oh boy, this is gonna be stressful. This is gonna be stressful. I already know it. Okay, looks like you have everybody. Beautiful. Okay. God damn. Anyway, I don't know what it is about up here in Jacksonville, this area of Florida, but I fucking love this place, man. A lot. A lot. I think it's a mixture of knowing that it's like South Georgia. Like it's extra country as part of the part of the state. You got a lot more tall trees up here than you do in the Tampa area. And you got the ocean. You got like everything all wrapped up into one little southern paradise right here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I got to tell you, man, Uncle Bo Gator feels a lot more at home right here, too. This is uh, it's a good feeling up here. I like the way the city of Jacksonville looks, too, man. Jacksonville looks like a proper city. I mean, Tampa does, too. I mean, it is a proper city, but it's cute. I like it. All these suspension bridges that go, especially over the St. John's River. There are three. I don't remember the names of them. There's like red, green, and blue. Anyways, let's get down the road. Next stop, St. Mary's, Georgia. Fortyville. All right, boys, we are in Georgia. We stopped at the very first exit across the Georgia line. Kind of knew that they weren't going to have 40s at that place, but we asked the locals, like, yeah, go to the brown bag. It's like two miles from here. They got 40s, so hell yeah. Here we are, baby. The bad thing about those... Uh, parking lot beers on the road is that yeah, it's such a long time in between them that you have a chance to get like completely sober back roads georgia take me to my 40 ounce i'll tell you what i don't like about the idea of 40 ounces i feel like they just get uh hot faster apparently on the way uh from the van zant house to here we lost kenny I i've said it many times that i'm not really the biggest fan of being in the lead and uh, I think I set a good pace. And I think I forgot that this he had, doesn't really have a whole lot of experience. And he only has ever had one other time on the freeway. So, uh, kind, of, kind of my bad. But uh, one, one reason I don't like being up front is I can't see. There, there are seven other motorcycles behind me. So, it's really difficult for me to count those as we're going i just see everybody together and i think oh, okay we're, we're fine <laughs> we weren't fine here it is boys this is where we find this is the promised land liquor more quicker <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> the destination is on your right I the brown did, bag i know i know i can see it i'm actually right here So, news. I'm not going to call it good news or bad news. You cannot buy 40s in the state of Georgia. So, I won't say it was a wasted trip. It's been a fun trip. 
We just have to get uh, small. We're all in good spirits. Everyone's having right. a great fucking time. Right. Fuck yeah. Have a great fucking time. Man. Anyway, well, we're gonna figure out what to do, I guess. So we ended up at Ox Pizza Kitchen and Cafe. The uh, drunk as fuck backwoods redneck that we met at the liquor store said this place was hopping, and he also said it was that way about 12 more miles. So thank God we didn't listen to him and put it in the maps instead. So basically, we rode to Georgia to have mediocre pizza and Bud Light, which once in a lifetime experience here, boys and girls. This is how you celebrate a Mike Ranch birthday. The most mediocre shit possible. Nothing exciting. I don't know how much more I'm going to record tonight. Uh, we are at The Jug, uh, formerly known as The Pastime back in the day. They still have the other name of it right on the side of the building, Pastime Saloon. The jug, you know, cutting a rug down a place called the jug. Don't know how much I'm going to record, like I said, but uh, I wanted to show this off because to me this is pretty cool. I, I guess if you're not a Skinner fan, you don't really fucking care, but I like it. So birthday fun was over. Now we get birthday weekend fun. All the boys left. They all went back home. I really appreciate everyone who came out. Well, I guess Shelly, Shelly wasn't one of the boys, but anyway, you get the idea. So the wife came up. We're gonna go hit up some spots. What? He said an adventure. Oh, we're gonna go what? We're going on an adventure. We're gonna go up to Mayport, check out the ferry, A1A, look at the ocean up there. The just do, beach. yep, just doing touristy shit, man, so. See down there. So our first thought was going over the uh, Mayport Ferry, uh, which you guys may have seen in the Savannah video. But uh, it was going to be like an hour-ish wait. So we turned around, ended up uh, near Neptune Beach, the northernmost beach in uh, the Jacksonville area. Had a little spot called Hurricanes. Having some nachos, ordered some wings, some roll beers. Good. good times. Big fan of good times. I uh, thrive in them, actually. I think you do too. Welcome back, fam. It is Monday morning, May 30th. Uh, old lady's here in the car. I've got Linda Lou there. Uh, it was a fun. It was a fun two nights in the house. It's definitely an old house. It's definitely uh, <laughs> not in the best neighborhood, but man, I had a real good time, man. Just kind of. I know not everybody gets like emotionally attached to things like that, but just kind of knowing that. Man, some of the some of the, form, the you know the formative years to some of my musical I don't know icons, legends, what idols I don't know you know started right here, you know. So I, I just think that's pretty badass. We're gonna head down to a town called Green Cove Springs. It's about 20 miles south of here. Uh, we're gonna go look for what's called the Hell House, and the Hell House was uh, because they lived in neighborhoods. They really didn't we weren't able to practice as freely and loudly as they wanted to so they rented this hell house down or this house on a farm down in green cove spring that's where the magic happens so the first two albums pretty much in their entirety were perfected written rehearsed right there in this house it's now a gated subdivision um but i think we can still get on there and the plot of land that the house was on has not been built on top of yet so uh, we're gonna head down there and see if we can get in there it's gated like i said so if not no worries, it's just a little stretch out of the way. So let's see you down, down the road. Out of Van Zandt house we go. And now there's only one motorcycle. <laughs> Came up here, rode with seven, ended up with eight total uh, in the group. And uh, everybody has dispersed and gone back to their places of abode. Green Coast Springs is only about 19 miles away, which... You know, it's on Highway 17, which is a two-lane highway. You guys know how I prefer two-lane highways. I think, honestly, talking to talking to a lot of you, I think most of you prefer that type of riding to free. Freeway riding is it's fast. It's fast and efficient if you're trying to get somewhere far away. So, yeah, this is the elementary school that uh, Van Zant went to. And there's a uh, a park right behind there where both, where both Van Zant played baseball growing up and, and Tim Tebow. How about that? Freeways are fast and efficient to getting somewhere a long distance away. But they are boring, aren't they? Like, they're really boring. These two-lane highways, man, there's just something about them. I know this hasn't been the most 
enthralling video I've ever made. I, it's just something, man. It's my birthday. I'm, I'm having a good time. You guys know I'm a Leonard Skinner fanatic, man. So <laughs> I just thought it'd be cool to come up here and do this kind of shit with uh, other people, you know? We are about five miles from where I'm trying to go. Uh, I don't have an exact, like, coordinate location for where it is, but I've got enough information from knowing the address of the community and seeing some videos of some other people doing the surrounding area, plus knowing a little bit about the area to where I think I'm going to be able to nail it down pretty quick, assuming I can get in there. Now, I do want to say, uh, somebody, somebody back at the Waffle House picked up our tab, um... The waitress was kind of confused. I mean, she said, hey, so, uh, your your check was taken care of. Uh, one of my customers recognized you and said, rock on. She goes, are you some kind of rock star or something? And because the only thing left or the only thing said was rock on, I don't know. Was it somebody who mis mis mistook me for someone else? Was it one of you guys out there who watched the channel and paid for it? I really, really appreciate it. That kind of stuff always catches me off guard, man. So... Uh, we, we left her a pretty healthy tip, so uh, if you are a fan of the channel and not somebody who thought I was a rock star, I'm not. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, that that's really humbling for me as a, a, an essential nobody. So anyway, uh, we're almost there. Four miles, like I said. I'm going to listen to music until we get there, so. I can't get into the community. I'm actually kind of bummed about that. I really hate that that's gated. Like, obviously, I'm a little butthurt because I wanted to go down there to see it, but just in general, I'm just pissed off because how can you have something so instrumental, so monumental to the history of music, and it's fucking gated off to whoever has the money to buy a fucking plot in there? I just think, personally, that's fucking horseshit, man. I really, really do. I do have another surprise here. Uh, I'm going to walk up there. So this is... The, this bridge here, this train bridge, is where a lot of the locals would come and hang out to listen to the music as they were as they were practicing down. The Hell House, the house that they practice in, was just right over there. Uh, probably a quarter mile maybe, if I had to get my bearings right. Uh, the cover to the album, Nothing Fancy, was shot up here on top of this train bridge. So. Pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna walk up there, try not to get killed by a train, but if I do, I have life insurance, so we're good. Yeah, them old boys down there keeping it real. I'm gonna keep it quiet because they're fishing, but I think that's pretty cool, man. You can come up to Green Cove Springs and still just have a redneck and good time. So let's get a picture and uh, yeah, we'll call it good. All right, we're about a mile from our exit, man. Uh, bears, beers, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, beers, bears, Avenue and Tampa. You guys watch Josh, that's the last exit coming out of Tampa. Uh, that's the first one coming in. It happens to be mine. So, man, it was a really good weekend. It was chill. Uh, there was some partying involved, but, man, it was just, I don't know, it felt right. One of the whole reasons for going up to Georgia was to get 40s, and they didn't sell 40s. So there may have been some letdown, but, man, really nobody was bad about it. It was kind of like, you know, we're all talking about, yeah, I, I'm prepared to spend 100, 200 bucks on 40s and, and ride back to Tampa with them and blah, blah, blah. But when we found out there weren't any 40s, it was just kind of like, oh, they don't have 40s here. Mm. And, and I think that's a real testament to how much it means for, you know, folks to ride with each other, just to have, have a good time, you know? Anyway, as with any trip, had a great time, but man, it's good to be uh, almost home. I've got about five miles before I get home, four and a half miles. And uh, I think I'm going to end this one here instead of doing it, instead of bringing it all home. Yeah, I appreciate you coming along for this one. I really do. Until next time, I'll see you later.